हेलो ऑल एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज चंद्रमणि पांडे एंड थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर वाचिंग माय अदर वीडियोस आई एम होपिंग दैट माय वीडियोस आर एडिंग सम वैल्यूज इन योर डे टू डे इंट्यून ऑपरेशन वर्क इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो वी डिस्कस्ड हाउ टू ऑटोमेट इंट्यून रिपोर्टिंग थ्रू एज योर ऑटोमेशन यूजिंग अ सिस्टम असाइंड मैनेज आइडेंटिटी इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच दिस वीडियो येट आई रिकमेंड चेकिंग इट आउट you can find the link in the description section in this video i will explore the process of automating intune report in azure automation using user assign manage identity i will guide you through a step by step process of configuring azure automation to automate intune report using user assign manage identity so to implement this we have to follow the following step first we have to create an automation account if you already have an automation account you can use it however for demonstration purpose i will start from scratch by creating a new azure automation account in the second step we have to create a user assign manage identity the third step we have to provide the permissions to the manage identity in the fourth step we have to enable and add the user assigned managed identity application in azure automation account in the fifth step we have to add the required modules to the azure automation account in the sixth step we have to create a runbook and test the demo scripts in the seventh step we have to publish the script eighth step we have to create a scheduler to trigger the script execution you can use any existing azure automation account if you have one but for the sake of this demonstration i will give you through the process of setting up a new automation account so now let's begin with the step by step configuration process and all the scripts used in this demo have already been uploaded to the github and you can find the github location in the description section so before we begin if you are new to my channel or yet not subscribe my channel please consider subscribing my channel and turn on the notification so that you won't miss any of my videos so currently i am on the azure portal utilizing the global administrator account to set up the azure automation account so to configure the azure automation account we have to search for azure automation account as you can see that i already have one azure automation account but i will start from the scratch and i am going to create a new azure automation account and to create it we have to click on create option and then we have to select the subscription and the resource group i am going to create a new resource group and call it as intune automation using user assign manage identity click okay and then we have to provide the azure automation account name i am going to provide the intune automation and then we have to select the region so i am going to select the central india and click next and this time under the manage identity we have to select the user assign manage identity we can also uncheck the system assign manage identity but when we are running the script we will get some error that's why i am not going to unselect this option and then we can add a user assign manage identity but as of now i don't have any user assign manage identity created that's why i'm not able to add it here i will create it in the next step and then click on next and then click on next next and then create and now we can see that the azure automation account is now created successfully now the second step is to create the manage identity account for that we have to search for manage identity and we have to create a manage identity account so for that i am going to click on create and under this we have to select the subscription and the resource group i already have one resource group and i am going to use the same resource group and then reason is central india and we just need to provide the name of the user assigned manage identity in my case i am using intune automation user assigned manage identity and then click create and create 
now we can see that the managed identity deployment is completed successfully now the third step is to add the required permissions to the newly created managed identity for that we have to search for enterprise application and then under the application type we have to select the managed identity and click apply and now we have to select the application under which we have to add the permissions in my case this is the application in tune automation user assigned managed identity we have to click on it and then we can see that the under the permission as of now there is no permission assigned to it so to add the permission we have to run a script so i have already downloaded the script and under this script we have to just provide the user input section we have to just provide the name of that application so in my case this is the name of the application copy and then we have to just replace the name of the application and then select all and run now it's asking account who has a global admin rights so i'm going to use my admin account and then we have to provide the password now the script executed successfully let's see if the permission is assigned to that application or not let me refresh it and now we can see that we have the required permissions assigned to that particular application now the next step is to add this application under the azure automation manage identity so to do this we again go to the azure automation account and then we have to select the account and under the account we have to select the identity and under identity we have to select the user assigned and we have to add the identity now we can see that we are able to see the intune automation user assigned manage identity we just need to select this and click on add now the next step is to add the required module so to do this we have to go to the shared resources and under that we have a option called modules we have to click on that and here we have to first check whether the required model module is already present or not so in my demo script i am using two modules the first one is the az account module let me check whether the module is present or not we have to search for it and we can see that az module is present now the second module is the graph module mg graph module and to check this we have to find the mg graph authentication module is present or not so again i am going to click on mg graph authentication and we can see that this module is not present so first we have to add this module and to add this module we have to click on add a module and then we can upload the module by selecting the browse from file or browse from gallery so i'm going to click on browse from gallery and then click here to browse from the gallery and then search for the module which we want to add and then click on that module and we can see that what all command this module is providing like connect mg graph which i am using in my script so i am going to click on select and then we have to provide the runtime version and then click import and now it's taking some time to import this module and now we can see that the Microsoft Graph module status is showing as importing. We can see that the Microsoft Graph authentication module status is showing as available. We have successfully imported the required modules in the Intune Automation account. Now the next step is to create a runbook and test the demo script. For that we have to go to the process automation and under this we have an option called runbook and we have to create a runbook here we have to provide the name so i'm going to provide the name in tune device report and then run type is powershell script and then run type version is 5.1 and then click create and now we have to provide the script which we want to execute so let me copy the script which is in my 
download folder and i am going to save it so in this script we have to update the user input section because we are using the user assigned manage identity so we have to provide the object id of the assigned manage identity enterprise application so let me duplicate this window and under the enterprise application we have to again search for the manage identity application and we have to copy this object id and then update the script with the object id now we have to save the script and we have to test this script to test this script we have to click on start and now we can see that a script executed successfully with user signed manage identity account in my intune portal i have only one device that's why it's showing only one device information now the next step is to publish this script to do this we have to go back and then we again have to click on this edit option and then edit in the portal and now we have an option called publish click on that publish option and hit yes now the run book is also published and we can see that status has published now the next step is to create a scheduler so to do this we have to select the schedules under the resources and then we have to click on add a schedule here we have to link a schedule to your run book and then add a schedule here we have to provide the name of the schedule and the description we can select the start time and the time zone i am going to select the india time zone and then recurrence once or recurring i am going to click on recurring and then here we can schedule the recur every day every hour every week or every month so i am going to select every day and then i am not going to set the expiration and then click create and then click on ok and now we can see that the schedule is also created and the status is marked as on that's all for this video and if you have any question or doubt let me know in the comment section and i will try to answer all your doubts and questions i hope this is an informative video for you thank you very much for watching this video